Mo Salah or Sadio Mane? Sadio Mane. Sadio Mane or Yaya Toure? Sadio Mane. Sadio Mane or Azamoa Jayan? Azamoa Jayan. Azamoa Jayan or JJ Akocha? Azamoa Jayan. Hello friends, welcome to Dorsaka. My name is Delali Frank and this is News Daily where I serve you with all the major trending news in the last few hours. So in today's edition, we're going to talk about some news in relation to Black Stars players. Daniel Kofitcher has some bad news. The player that was uh, on his way to returning back to full fitness has been injured again and it's such a sad news. Unfortunately, he has to go out of his clubs preseason and go for another surgery. I'll share the details with you. Antoine Semenyo has also scored a goal in their preseason game against Arsenal. Thomas Partey also featured in that game. I have details to share with you. Also, Usman Bukhari spoke after playing his first game for his MLS club side. Usman Ibrahim as well also played his first game for Brighton and Hove Babylon. He has also angered Nigerian fans over his comparison between Asamajan and JJ Okocha. This and many other conversations are we going to do in today's edition as usual if today is your first time hit on the subscription button and let's build this community together without wasting much time let's get straight into today's news right so let's start with daniel kofiche kofiche has been out of uh, football for almost 20 months like last season beginning of the season he picked up an injury and he was basically out didn't play any ball for his club side in Germany. He was out well hoping that he will get back. Recently we got reports that he has joined his club side for preseason. Like we saw prior to that we saw him doing some small small training, some football, touching football and all that. So we're hoping that he will come back and come and play for his club side. Unfortunately we just woke up again to a news that the young man has picked up another injury or his, the injury that he was returning from, or how should I say it, the injury that he was recovering from, he, it has been aggravated again that he has to go and do another surgery in the same place. So he can't, he, like his journey back to normal football has moved back to like, like long days and a lot of Ghanaians are not happy with because he's a very talented footballer and my worry for him is even his age he's like 28 years old now 28 years old you are getting past your peak as a player and injury is not giving him the chance to play a very good footballer by all standards very creative footballer a player that the black stars itself needs such a player at this point you don't even have a ball career in the team a creative mode for that for that matter Unfortunately, injury is not allowing this man to come and play. We're hoping that he will get back to his feet, play some games, and then get a collab in maybe Otuado's Ness or collab or next two collabs. Unfortunately, the man, he's not fit again. And Ghanaians are not happy. A lot of Ghanaians have, like, you could see that everybody's worried because at the AFCON, like, he played for Ghana at the AFCON and uh, Milu and showed that he's a very good footballer. Apart from, and then he went to the World Cup too as well. Apart from that, really not seeing him play for Ghana and it's quite painful. We wish him the best of luck. Our, our prayer is that Kofiche will come back again and come back fit. Like whatever it is, you just take his time and recover fully because uh, football will always be there for him to play. But he needs to be fit before he can at least play the football that we are hoping that he can come back and come and play. Antoine Semenyon. Antoine Semenyon has been on the is on the score sheet again for his club side um he was like the second top scorer for his club side or a joint top scorer for his club side last season played some excellent football so his contract extended and in their preseason game against arsenal in the us he came back from the bench to come and score a goal he disposed and that's something that he's very good at like pressing and disposing ball of defenders is something that he's so good at it he pressed hard he disposed of the Arsenal defender and scored a, and, and took a shot and deflected into the goal. Such one of the biggest deflections you can think of. And then we are happy for him because he really needs that. Uh, we have we need Ghanaian players to be excelling at that like you know top level. And after seeing his contract extended, obviously you expect him to get enough playing time and score goals. In that same game, Thomas Partey also played. He played 
over 68 minutes for his club side for Arsenal before he was substituted. But Semenyo came from the bench in the second half to come and score the goal for his club side, which is very good news, and we wish him the best of luck moving on. Some Ghanaian players are also engaging in preseason, so I'm going to share some details with you. Osman Bukhari also played for his club side. Um, Aston FC in the MLS played his first game for them, and he spoke after that. Uh, he said he was a bit, you know, he has not played for a while, so he was not a bit sure of what he do. It was a bit more difficult, but he did everything possible to come back and excel for his club side. I don't make troubles. <laughs> I just make troubles on the field. I was like, okay, this is my first game, so and uh, it's been a long time I played games, so it was not that easy for me. But it was amazing to to play in front of this amazing fan. Great. Let's talk about another Usman. I'm talking about Usman Ibrahim. Usman Ibrahim plays for Ibrahim Usman, like he is Ibrahim Usman. Anyhow, same same person. He came. He joined Brighton and Hove Albion. Obviously, you know from Ned. Uh, the, uh, Dutch side, uh, Nordjylland, and then he he joined them, and he has not been bad. Obviously, he's not been bad. He played his first game for them in their preseason game. They won by five goals to one, and uh, it was very good news. It's always good to see Ghanaian players get the opportunity to play. So he plays his first uh, season game for Brighton. He started, and such a good news. We want to see him play. He's a very talented footballer. We want to see him play more. And same player has engaged in a video where he was asked some quick fire questions about players and he picked Asamojan ahead of JJ Kucha and Nigerian fans are not happy. The guy didn't watch JJ Kucha. So how do you expect him? He watched Asamojan play. JJ Kucha we've heard he, he heard how good he is, but he hasn't really watched him play. And he's also a Ghanaian. So how then do you expect him to pick JJ Kucha ahead of Asamojan? Obviously not. So Nigerian fans, chill. Relax, yeah. Let's wrap up with another Ghanaian. Uh, so, before Ghana will go for the World Cup, the GFA announced, or there was a report of a couple of Ghanaian players that have agreed to play for Ghana. All these players have, like uh, Tariq Lante, Naki Williams, Stefan Ambrosius, uh, Salis Ibrahim, and then Patrick Pfeiffer. All these players have, one way or the other, been called to the national team. But Patrick Pfeiffer, who is a defender, is the only player who was yet to be called. A lot of people were saying why is it I don't calling him and things. Apparently, the guys and there was a report that his nationality switch wasn't completed yet. And the guy has come out in an interview exclusively. I saw it on Joy FM or Joy Sports, and he exclusively explained that it's now that he has gotten his passport or Ghanaian passport, so he is now fully a Ghanaian and he can play for Ghana. Because if you don't even have a Ghanaian passport, and Ghana is going to play a game. Which, on which passport are you traveling to go and play the competition? So, Patrick Pfeiffer has now completed his uh, nationality switch and obviously he's going to represent Ghana and play for Ghana. He said he's happy, he's looking forward to being called by Otwadu in Ghana's September call up. Uh, yes, I was a few weeks ago in Ghana and now I get my passport. And yes, I hope that in September they call, call up, they can make a call up for me. <laughs> Does this trip really make look uh, make you really interested um, to be part of the Black Stars and also play here in Africa? Yes, of course, because it's my motherland. Uh, I love the land. And, uh, I, I love the guys. I love the vibe. I love the food. And yes, I born and raised in Germany, but I love Ghana. So he's looking forward to it. I think we wish him the best of luck. He's a defender. We need, we need him, obviously. With the fact that Ghana is now having a lot of defenders injured and, and then things, we need him to be present to give us a boost in the back there. So uh, we wish him the best of luck and we're hoping that he'll come and add a lot of things to the Black Star. So that's all for today. We talked about a couple of things. We talked about Kofiche, uh, we talked about uh, Semenyo, Thomas Pate, Usman Bukhari. Ibrahim Usman and a couple of other things that you are supposed to know. As usual, my name is Elali Frank. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section. But until we meet again, bye-bye for now.